Now this is going to be a bit of a continuation on from the two previous training videos on building blocks in that when we wanted to go ahead and save something as a building block, we selected it, came up here on the Insert tab to the text group, clicked on the Quick Parts drop-down arrow. We worked with these two right here. First we saved it, and then we went to the Organizer to either edit the properties of the building block or delete it. We didn't talk about the other three up above in the Quick Parts menu, the Auto Text, Document, Property, and Field. First of all, the Auto Text. Let's go ahead and hover over that, and you'll see that I've got some that are already there, like the name of my company, Dreamforce. And what Auto Text does is that when I go ahead and click on it, it automatically inserts the text. Cool. Well, how do I go ahead and create my own text to automatically be inserted? Well, before you buy yet, let me sell you on another point with the Auto Text. Let me hit Enter. You don't have to actually go in the Quick Parts menu to insert the Auto Text. You can just simply type in the first couple of letters of the Auto Text, and it gives you that little prompt, and it says, "Okay." All you have to do after you type in the first few letters is just hit Enter, and I'll go ahead and type in the rest for you. Hit enter and boom, there you go. Okay. Are you ready to buy now? Wait, I'll throw in some Ginsu knives. No, let's go ahead and learn how to do this. So, what I need to do is just like creating a building block, just go ahead and type in whatever text that you want to have automatically inserted after you type in the first couple of letters. Like, let's try Spiffy Stories. Sounds spiffy to me. Let's go ahead and select it. And then you want to save it as a building block. Again, by coming up here to the text group, clicking on the quick parts, saving your selection. And then instead of saving it in the Quick Parts Gallery, it has to be saved in the Auto Text Gallery or with the Auto Text Format. So when I select it, click OK, and I hit Enter, and I type in the first couple letters, spiff, oh, there we go. Just hit Enter and automatically inserts it. Let me go ahead and hit Enter again, and it's also available up here in the Quick Parts Gallery, the Auto Text, and then scroll down and, ooh, spiffy stories. That's so fun. Now if I want to go ahead and get rid of that, you know how to do that. Just click on the drop down arrow, go to the Building Blocks Organizer, and there's Spiffy Stories. If you don't see it there, then go ahead and sort it by name. If you remember the name of it, and then it's alphabetical, then select Spiffy Stories and go ahead and delete it. And then say yes and close out. And now when I type in the first couple letters, Spiff, oh, it's not coming up. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and click on the Quick Parts drop down arrow is the Document Property. Now we haven't covered the properties of a document yet, but basically there's a place you can go where you can add some keywords that describe what the document's about. I mean, you've got the title within the document, but these are things like who worked on the document, the author, the manager, the company name, the company address. All those are found in the properties. Where are the properties? We'll go over this a bit more in detail in level three, but let me click off to show you. Click on the File tab, go to Info, come over to the right hand side, and there we go. There's the properties here. You can see that all the properties are being displayed, well, most of them. You can see that there's the uh, hyperlink, the company name, the author, that's me, Kurt Kershaw. You can also click on the properties drop down arrow and go to advanced properties. Shows you a lot more than what you can see over here, either on the general tab, summary, statistics. Like I said, I'll go over this in level three. Type in the title, the subject, the author, in any case you get the idea. Click cancel. Let me click on the home tab so it takes me back to where I last left off, the insert tab. Come over here, click on the Quick Parts, go to Document Properties. Oops, let me go ahead and hit Enter a couple of times, then click on it again. That way I don't insert it next to something. Document Property. Remember, I'm the author, Kurt Kershaw. Go ahead and select it, and it inserts my name. But also it has it tagged, because this is a dynamic field in that if I go into the Properties and say, okay, I'm no longer the author, it'll update this and say, well, whoever I typed in the Properties here under the File tab, it'll have their name displayed there instead. When I click off of it, you can't tell the difference, right? Only when you click inside of it, okay? Let me go ahead and click outside of it, hit enter a couple of times, and then finally, the Quick Parts field. Go ahead and select it. You get a list of all these fields, so many that obviously I'm not gonna cover them all, but to give you an idea what this is about, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down because it's sorted alphabetically. Let's go to the date, and then over here, what kind of uh, date format do I wanna insert? numerically or have it spelled out. Go ahead and select that and then click OK. It inserts it and then notice when I click back in here the date field is dynamic in that you can go ahead and have it updated. When you hover over it you see the shortcut key F9. When you hit that it'll go ahead and update it to well today's Friday. If it's tomorrow then hit F9 it'll update it to Saturday February 4th. When I click outside of it again you can't tell the difference whether it's a dynamic field or static field. You can also right click on it and choose the update field and it'll update it to today's date or you can right click on it and go to the edit field and then choose a different format like let's do time okay and click okie dokie and then right click on it it says it's 10 11 and 35 seconds go to the update field 
Now it's 10, 11, and 44 seconds. So, thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.